was the rest of your night? It was really good, yeah. It's like a surreal dream. It's just like, wow. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Graham. The time has come. Time to check back in with Ed and Liz on this honestly roller coaster of a relationship. They seem to be going up and down every single episode. Last time we checked in with them, they were, uh, you know, sharing a little moment in this hotel room. Finally, Ed got his first kiss, or at least that's how he acted. It was his first kiss, you'd think. But now it's the morning after, and we're going to be catching up with them before they head off to this wedding, which has been kind of just something we've been anxious for this entire time. So make sure you watch until the very end, because pff, this episode, it's just going to be a wild ride and very painful to sit through. Trust me. So if you're ready, let's get right into it and just see how Ed and Liz have been doing the morning after. Hey. Pumpkin, peach, peaches, peaches, peaches. It tasted like a peach last night. Oh, oh God, starting things off with a bang. No, don't cheers to that, Ed. That is a very odd comment to make. I don't wanna know <laughs> what Liz tasted like, but things are looking good, honestly. I mean, when we left off, they had kissed in the bed and then Ed turned to her and said, I love you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. After it was super awkward and he realized he should not have said that so quickly. You know, Ed just gets into this motion where he finally takes a win and then immediately ruins it by moving too fast again, almost as if he completely forgets why Liz has an issue with him moving too fast. But nevertheless, Nevertheless, looks like he's at least sharing a toast this morning, so things are looking good. And I don't know if that surprises me anymore, because I'm just pretty sure Liz either secretly loves this man and is just dragging this out for TV drama, or she's a multi-millionaire at this point with how many checks TLC's having to give her in between these episodes. Just pull it back. Should we try the Andrew Bloom or what's his name? Orlando Bloom thing or no? No. No. And I don't know why Ed's always comparing himself to these like gold standards of men in terms of actors. What was it that he thought he was last time? Brad Pitt or something? Oh, Keanu Reeves, I'm pretty sure it was. Which at this point, you look closer to the Keanu Reeves than you do to Orlando Bloom. But hey, if you wanna look like a freaking pirate from the Caribbean or whatever it is, to this wedding you're going to, so be it. We started snuggling and we started to kiss. She is so beautiful and soft and caring. Man, I'm really trying to hold back right now from vomiting as Ed is just slowly explaining how their night went in vivid detail. I absolutely freaking hate this. But you know, the TLC people were behind the camera like, oh yeah, this is gold, baby. This is basically a way to print money. Oh, this is content right here, which I don't disagree. Ed is a gold mine of content, but I really don't want to hear in this vivid of detail, man, please. She's a giver. Did you guys okay, so <laughs> yeah, we made love all night. No! I refuse to believe this. Oh God, that was not a fun noise that just came out of my mouth, but it was just involuntary because I just heard the freaking news that I just heard. Ed, how did you secure that, bro? I thought he was getting away with these, you know, like multiple kisses that first time, and that was just gonna be the magnum opus for him. But for some reason, he was able to strike out fully last night. I don't know what to do with this information, and I honestly am feeling sick to my stomach, but Liz is fully into this role at this point. There is no other option but for her to actually be into him. And I don't know what she sees in him, but it's something because she let that happened. Oh God, I feel like I need to take a shower already and I'm not even a third of the way into the video. That was great last night, by the way. Mm-hmm. But, but both times. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Both times? Both times meaning multiple? Oh God, it wasn't a fluke. I don't know what's real anymore. I don't know what to believe. I don't know where I stand on this. I am just baffled at this point. Every episode, Ed is topping himself. Well, I guess, you know, in between this episode and last, someone else topped him, you forget my drift, but he's really on top of his game right now, bro. What is going on, Ed? How are you so slick all of a sudden, twice? How does that happen? Oh, there must be some magical qualities in this hotel room and that's why he got upgraded to it. You know, someone must have just set a curse in here that just brainwashed Liz's mind and completely made her forget about their entire relationship up to this point because that happened twice and I am just appalled at this point. What is going on? We did it about twice. Liz's body is amazing. It's like a surreal dream. It's just like, it was incredible, like incredible. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I'm kind of questioning what he means by about twice. How do you do that about twice? I mean, you're not rounding up here. It's either you did or you didn't. But moving on from that, the way he's explaining this, 
<laughs> you really would think this guy's just like an 18 year old or something, bro. He just talks like he's fresh out of high school and is just a frat bro and just like, it just honestly was life changing, dude. And she's got a rock and bod if you ask me, dude. We got super litty last night. It was crazy. <laughs> hey, come on, dude. You're 55 or whatever it is. Why are you geeking over this so much? Obviously, it changed his life. He seems like an entirely new man. This is the true Keanu Reeves lookalike we've all been waiting for. I never had anyone take over. It will go down in Big Ed history as, yeah, as the event. <laughs> the more he talks, the more physical pain I'm in. Why are you this forthcoming with the camera, Ed? You realize, you know, some parts of your life can be private, bro. You understand that, right? Or do you just want to be made a spectacle of everything that goes on in your life? Like he just said, this was the, the quote event. event of his life up until this point, you know? Like, screw the time he got married the first time or the birth of his daughter. This one event was the one thing that defined Big Ed's life. And that just tells you all you need to know about the man. He's geeking right now. He's on cloud nine. But as we all know from his track record, he is immediately going to follow this up with another mess up. I mean, it's just, it's easy to predict at this point. You can place your bets and it's again, like printing money. If you do that, the odds are forever stacked against Ed in this life. And he's just proven that with every episode he's on a high right now, but he's going to come crashing down. I'm just hoping that every time it's going to be like that. I mean, <laughs> He's just glowing. I have nothing else to say. The man is purely glowing right now. We can joke about him all we want, but I don't think we have felt the satisfaction and happiness that this man is feeling right now. At least I haven't. But with everything leading up to this, I really feel conflicted. I don't think that I should be happy for the guy. If anything, I'm just sad for Liz. Why is this happening and why is this continuing? I get it's for the show, but you got to draw the line somewhere. How was the rest of your night? It was really good. Yeah. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> I had to teach him how to kiss. That's exactly what you want in a partner. Someone who's pretty much twice your age and completely inexperienced when it comes to romance to where you have to give them training wheels and teach them and coach them through everything. I'm sorry, I'm pausing again, but I really am just feeling this in my gut the entire time watching this. According to Liz, it was a really gut night. So maybe Ed is just, you know, more baller than we expected him to be. And he's kind of a rock star because she's also looking absolutely glowing right now. And you'd think at this point when she realizes she still has to go to this wedding with him, she'd be kind of bummed, but it's the polar opposite. So obviously, like I said earlier, Liz sees something in Ed that we just don't see. It must be a side of him that is not shown whenever the cameras hit record. I'm probably the first person in history to ever to be able to break out of the friend zone. And now I want Liz to be my girlfriend. Oh, and now Ed's got all this confidence all of a sudden, and he proudly says he's the only person to ever break out of the friend zone, which again does not exist. But for people like Ed, it is just the biggest barrier for him in his dating life, even though he just doesn't know how to look introspectively into himself and realize that all the problems start with him. He's the only source. But besides that, he thinks that he just broke through this friend zone and he's such a beast and he's just, you know, so wanted by women that he was able to completely change the way she thinks about. It. I bet you it has nothing to do with the show or possible fame and money that she's gaming from this right nothing to do with it but now it sounds like he's once again going to put her in a awkward situation as he's about to ask her to be his girlfriend but who knows maybe at this point it's been enough time i truly don't know i would still be super salty about him even changing the hotel rooms from the last episode though so i would definitely say no i think we're gonna look like a couple i would like to introduce you as my girlfriend at the wedding and so will you be my girlfriend Okay, color be a little bit surprised, but that was a moderately smooth entry when it comes to Ed and his, you know, awkward questions that he brings up. Usually he just drags it on too long or is awkward about it, but that was pretty alpha. I hate that I just said that, but you know what I mean? Like that was just pretty confident by him. And I'm proud of Ed for getting his words out smoothly this time. Now let's see what Liz thinks. I'll be your girlfriend. You'll be my girlfriend. Just at the wedding. No, just at the wedding. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so I guess we owe a round of applause to Ed. He finally made it completely out of the friend zone. He obliterated the friend zone. He finally got Liz as an official girlfriend, and it's looking like things are gonna go smoothly into this wedding. I'm surprised. It's been, you know, honestly, a few minutes of dialogue here, and he has not messed up too bad. Something's off about Ed. There's no way his life is actually gonna fall into place now. That just doesn't work for me. We need some chaos brought back into this storyline. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. I have a girlfriend. 
and he's like petting her saying i'm feeling, feeling like, like a giddy, giddy little princess, princess right now like dude we understand your hype and you literally have not had an official girlfriend since before liz was born 29 years ago your last wife that you cheated on while she was pregnant <clears throat> sorry sorry getting too deep into the ed lore here but man he is just so excited and i guess rightfully so when it's been almost three decades of you striking out that's got to be a good feeling when finally something goes slightly right i never thought i would find love again i just hope i don't blow it I kind of hope you do, and I, I know you're probably going to, so let's keep going and watch it happen. Let's place bets, though, real quick. Do you guys think it's going to happen in this episode, or maybe we'll have to wait another episode for him to, you know, mess up? That might be the cliffhanger for the ending of this episode, him, you know, dropping a bombshell that just makes her angry or something. Liz, one more thing. Um, now that you're my girlfriend, I want you to meet my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not think that was actually gonna happen directly after I just said the place your bets thing. I promise I did not watch forward there, but what beautiful timing, Ed. I was literally gunning for you there, saying you're gonna at least make it to the end of the episode, but no, the next sentence out of your mouth after she says yes to being your girlfriend is, hey, let's make this other huge step and have you meet my adult daughter that's older than you. Cause that's just the perfect timing to ask that, dude. What are you thinking, bro? You just... Ugh, he is truly his own worst enemy. That was really quick. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll slow down. Yeah. Yikes. As you can tell, that obviously made Liz very uncomfortable. She should be kind of used to that feeling after hanging around Ed. It seems to happen every time they hang out. She's put in a tough spot. But this is one of the more awkward things to think about because think about how stressful that is. You have a lot of pressure. You're this girl's dad's first girlfriend in 29 years since he divorced her mom. So that is just a really tense environment that you're asking her to be put in directly after you got her to be your girlfriend. That is just a bad move, dude. I didn't have anxiety until now, thanks for that. Definitely think about what you just said. I will. Ed is just doing speed runs at this point of makeup, you know, get a step forward in the relationship and immediately take two steps backwards. That's his goal. That's his game plan at this point, I'm convinced, because it's a routine of him doing it almost once or twice every episode. I just wasn't prepared for the daughter comment. Like, I don't need bad vibes if that comes out. Not saying there's bad vibes, just I know we're close in age. And, and I don't know about y'all, but I definitely feel for her on the apprehension there. That is just something that you don't want to do because no matter what, meeting someone's kids has to be awkward. Thankfully, I have never dated someone that has kids where I need to go through that awkward situation. But I have been there myself when my parents divorced and, you know, they started dating other people. I was just a jerk to those people as well. Like, right off the bat, like, you're not my mom, you're not my dad. Like, it's just always a terrible time. So I... I definitely get why she's not wanting to do that, especially, you know, two weeks after they start being official. I'm not walking anybody down the aisle other than a couple of felines. Is a dog a feline? <laughs> And with that beautiful comment, we're gonna just transition over to the wedding here, which they don't really show much of, but it looks like they honestly had a great time. Ed, as I was imagining, looks absolutely stunning in his suit. It is just perfectly tailored around that body of his. And uh, I gotta say, whoever did that work, props to you. Is this a Gucci suit, by the way, man? I know you're balling out here, Ed. It has to be some nice brand. Either way, I'm happy that he at least had a good time. It seems like the next episode is gonna be that tense meeting between Liz and his daughter. I I believe that is going to happen because obviously she's going to say yes. That's like a whole episode worth of content right there. And I'm sure it's going to be painfully awkward. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. We made some leaps and bounds in the Ed storyline here. Like honestly, that was a step I did not expect him to make in the beginning of this episode. And he did it twice, apparently. So <laughs> props to you, I guess, Ed. I don't think I should be congratulating you. If anything, I should be giving my condolences to Liz. But yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Thank you so much for the continued support on my channel and this series overall. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. I've been doing a lot of premieres and it's a ton of fun seeing you all get there super early, so I appreciate the support. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.